For me personally, um, astrophotography is about capturing the whole landscape. It's, it's not just about the stars, it's about, it's about the whole scene, it's about the magic of, of the nighttime and the outdoors. And for me, that especially goes with the aurora. And that's why a landscape like this is so perfect for capturing it. So today I'm in Senja in northern Norway and I'm out here to capture the northern lights on the new Google Pixel phone. Senja and northern Norway in general is just I think one of the most beautiful places in the world. The landscape is, is incredible and it's a landscape photographer's dream. On this trip I've been out scouting as I always do with landscape photography to find great locations to come back to and uh, when it's dark and the northern lights come out and I found a great beach in the Skarland. It's a rocky beach with uh, lots of pools so it's great for reflecting the night sky. Night photography is about patience. Um, it takes a long time, you have to use long exposures and, and you need time and patience to be out there and to capture it. The sky changes a lot throughout the night as well, you have clouds moving, the aurora changes um, throughout the night. So. It's about spending time out there and, and capturing different frames. And it's important not to be discouraged because sometimes you'll go out for days on end and you, you won't capture something that you're happy with. I think it makes it all the more rewarding when you uh, do eventually get that shot in the bag because it's completely outside your control what the weather's like. It's important to find areas that are really away from light pollution because Especially when the aurora isn't very strong, if you have light pollution it just spoils the shot. The, the light can damage the sky, you can't see the stars and you can't see the aurora so well. If I'm out and I'm trying to find out if the aurora's out, I'll generally um, be in and out of uh, the house of the car, checking the skies. Generally what you start to see first is just very light wisps of green that almost look like clouds and they can be indistinguishable at first. And then later on, when the sky started to clear, I went down and uh, magic started to happen and it was the perfect spot to shoot on. I'm honestly blown away with the Pixel 4 and its capabilities at night. I, I honestly didn't think that a phone would be capable of doing this kind of photography this soon. I think I'm drawn to adventure and outdoor photography because I love the outdoors and I love nature. I love spending time out there and hiking and exploring and I think coming to a spot like Northern Norway is perfect where you can be well away from everyone out in the middle of nowhere 